At notification causing fear with thousands seeking shelter, including one local couple honeymooning in Maui. As ABC Action News reporter Ashley Yor explains, they thought the start of their life together could have been the end. Imagine waking up to these texts, missile threat inbound to Hawaii, seek immediate shelter. I spoke with one Palm Harbor man who tells me he rushed his new bride into the bathroom to take cover and tried to keep a smile on her face despite their fear. I just kind of looked at her and, and jokingly I told her, you know, hey babes, it was good while it lasted. After two weeks of bliss, panic Saturday morning after Joseph Benavides received these missile threat alerts. My wife. Uh, she looked out the hallway and we were just hearing people running. We're hearing little kids crying, like parents are like just hustling. You can tell people are kind of like in a state of shock. That shock rippled throughout Hawaii. The governor says emergency management made an error during an employee shift change, triggering the false alarm. What happened today was totally unacceptable and many in our community was deeply affected by this and I'm sorry. Now assuring procedures are changing and no single person will be able to activate this warning again. Cell phone video shows people in Hawaii running, trying to find shelter. Honestly, I'm still in a little bit of a shock um, with, with the wifey, but I mean, we, we're, we're doing better now and, and a lot of people now are just going about their day, about their vacation. Joseph and his wife trying to do the same before heading back home Sunday safe. I'm grateful I'm still alive, I'm still breathing and um, I don't take anything away from this, this exciting uh, journey that I've had so far on my honeymoon. The FCC is investigating what happened. Ashley, your ABC Action News. In breaking tonight, the 